Hi, today we're gonna work on Rat Song called Lay Down. It's from Invasion of Your Privacy album. Check it out. We'll start by learning the rhythm guitar part behind the solo. I'll teach you this in the key of C, but remember that the intro and the chorus is in the key of D, so just transpose it whole step up the neck. The basic chord progression of this riff is similar to dozens of rock songs out there. Just play C5, A flat 5, and B flat 5, and you're ready to go. This basic chord progression implies a C minor harmony. C minor. A flat major, B flat major. But what really is interesting about this riff is that the opening chord is actually C major instead of C minor. And this is what makes this riff so interesting and unique. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, on the A string, me with my fifth finger, on the D, G, and B string, I'm barring with my third finger on the fifth fret, creating C major chord. On the A string, two bass notes on the third fret, third fret, muted, and then C sus4 chord, my pinky goes to the sixth fret of the B string while my third finger is still barring all those strings. Then I pull off to the fifth fret. Another two bass notes on the A string. My third finger is still barring the D and G strings and my pinky goes to the seventh fret of the G string. And pull off to the fifth fret. Another two bass notes and C at 9 chord, A string 3, D string 5, and G string 7. And then I move my 3rd finger to the 6th fret of the D string and my pinky to the 8th fret of the G string. A little bit of stretch here. And two bass notes on the 8th string 3rd fret and Another, another chord. Now, my, on the A string, three, and slide to the fifth fret. My pinky goes to the D string on the eighth fret. Going down the neck to the B flat five chord. First finger on the first fret, A string, and on the D string my pinky goes to the 3rd fret and then C5 chord A string 3 and D string 5 and then it repeats itself
solo bass mainly around C natural minor scales and C minor pentatonic scale. But as I said earlier, there are some interesting notes from the C major scale. Let's break it down to a few sections. Okay, G string. I'm sliding my third finger to the fifth fret, B string, three, and half bend. Then on the fifth fret, half bend, release, half bend again, and release to the fifth fret on the B string. Now G string five and D string five. Pay attention that I'm rolling my third finger from the G string to the D string because I want to mute the G string. Okay, on the G string, seven, sliding down to the third fret, and again the third fret. This is the first section. Okay, B string, 11th fret with my 3rd finger, high E string, 8th fret with my 1st finger, and I'm bending only the B string, full step, release it, and then bend again. Now we have a little sequ sequence here, okay, my 1st finger is barring the B string and high E string on the 8th fret, and I'm doing this high E string 8th fret B string 8th fret B string 11th fret G string 10th fret B string 8th fret G string 8th fret G string 10th fret D string 10th fret and G string 8th fret and D string 8th fret now, on the G string, I'm bending full step from the 8th fret. Excuse me, from the 10th fret. Now, on the B string, I'm bending full step from the 11th fret. High E string, 8. B string, 11th fret, pull off to the 8th fret. Now, on the G string, I bend from the 10th fret, full bend. Now B string, 8th fret, high E string, 8th fret, 8th fret. On the B string, 11th fret, pull off to 8th fret. G string, 11th fret, B string, 8. G string, 11 again. And 10 on the G string and 8 on the G string. Okay, this string 8 fret. A string 10th fret, again D string 8th fret, G string 10th fret. Now I'm sliding from the 10th fret to the 11th fret and back to the 10th fret. And I, I'm doing this very, very fast. Then I pull off to the 8th fret. Now I'm barring with my third finger the G and D string on the 10th fret and playing the 10th fret on the G string, the 10th fret on the D string, G string 8, 10, sliding to the 12th fret on the G string, B string 13, G string 12th fret again, and again the B string 13th fret. 
Now on the high E string, 15, 13, 11, and the B string, 15, 13, 11. Now on the high E string, my first finger on the 11th fret, and on the B string, my third finger on the 14th fret, and I'm bending full step from the B string. Three times. Now, high E string, 15, 11, 15 again, 13, 11, and on the B string, 15, 15. and again, high E string, 11, and B string, 14, I'm doing the same thing like earlier, just two times, and going down half step, first finger high E string, 10th fret, and B string, 13th fret, full bend. I hope you enjoyed, if you have any requests or questions, you can email me. I am Ethan, see you next time.